Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of The Long Dark. I'm Vic, and you're watching again another Let's Play channel. So, uh, old blind lady that can still see the lights somehow, are you hurt? The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Firearms are the great equalizer. Where are we? No. A forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. Sounds pretty rough. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared. And we're leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency. Go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my lily. Lily? Never mind. Lily's the rifle, dummy. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. Okay. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're going to need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad man took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? 
Are you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay. Outsider. Grandmother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. And now we're in a new chapter, suddenly? You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Well, I also need things to, uh... Eat? Yeah, we'll go with that. What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. <laughs> Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it. Possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the story... Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Okay. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Kind of reminds me of Frostpunk. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were... thin. Far. The blizzard was waking up. Soon there was only wind and... darkness... I don't know. 
I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Then we're out of things to say. So I guess we should get to work. Find supplies to help keep Grey Mother alive. But have you got anything useful in this cabinet? No. Check the gas station for more supplies. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. I think there will be plenty of opportunities to poke around the house. And I think it's pretty early in the day, so... We ought to have some time to look around. I have a vague memory of there being some rabbits nearby. What was that noise? Did you hear that? Ah, it's probably those birds. Finding some rabbits would not go amiss. Look at that. There they are. Get out the rock. Come a little closer, Wabbit. Oh, he spotted me. I hear a wolf. Let's not mess with wolves when all we have for a weapon is rocks. Just gonna go this way. Can we get in here? Maybe the wolf won't follow us inside. Dear members, due to global economic realities that are well known to you, we are unfortunately unable to remain in operation. All banking services are hereby suspended until further notice. Global economic realities? I wonder what that's all about. I can't feel my hands. Can I wear those? Do I already have... I already have mittens. Yeah. Do we need to find you some better gear or what? Oh, those are much better, aren't they? I could eat anything. So it would appear that... Um, Whatever is happening is not happening just here in Great Bear. Well, maybe the current situation is only happening here. But um, there appear to be bigger problems than just the uh, green lights and the power stuff. And it is still cold enough in here that we are losing warmth. So I'm guess I guess we need to spend a little bit more time um, back in the cabin with the fire. But maybe we can loot this area a little more before we move along. This will come in handy. Oh, those are in very good condition. So we need to find food and fuel for Grey Mother, and for ourselves, it would appear that we need to also find some better clothes so that we don't die while we're trying to make our way out of this area. We'll leave that. I suppose we're going to want it at some point, but... We here. Okay. Tin of coffee. Take it, I guess. Lots of kindling. That is nice. 
I guess we should expect to find lots of kindling in the bank, huh? We got two safes that are locked. I'm betting that we are not a safe cracker, but maybe we can uh, find a combination somewhere. Haven't found any in here, so. Let's go back to what's her name's house. Get warmed up a little bit. And uh, hopefully not have to tangle with them wolves right away. Maybe we can convince Mama to uh, loan us her rifle. That would make wolves a lot more bearable. Can't sit down? How far away can I get from the fire? Is it just the whole building? It's the whole building. Nice. Okay. So while we're looking around, or while we're warming up, we can have a little look around. Cooking pot. I remember I'm going to want one of those. Nothing in here. So I'm pretty sure that... What does my journal say? Yeah, here we go. Stock gray mother's fridge with food. Zero out of 8,000. I'm guessing that's 8,000 calories. Fill gray mother's firewood bin. Zero out of 12. Um, maybe that's 12 hours of fire. Um... Anyway, I'm pretty sure that if I put things in either of those places, I won't get them back. So, I need to be careful about that. And in the meantime, I do need a place to set up shop. Can't take her books to put in her firebox. Um, stockpile supplies. All that good stuff. Everything you ever wanted to know about maintaining your clothing. Cool. Can I use it? New objective, repair clothing items. What's that about? The basics of survival. Enduring the quiet apocalypse will require survival skills. Find the collectibles that can teach you important survival lessons. Learn to mend and maintain clothing. Repair clothing items. So, what have we got for clothing items? I should equip those really good ones. Yeah, wear those. And... Yeah, why not repair them? That'll take care of that. Okay. And now our thermometer is all filled up. So let's head back out into town and see if we can get eaten by a wolf. Could be fun, right? How How is my inventory doing? I've got... 12 kilograms of capacity left. Where are the wolves? I hear them. I would rather not hear them. But better hearing them than being eaten by them, I guess. Let's check out these houses that we skipped over on our way into town. So keep the lamp burning. I don't recall having a lamp. <laughs> Where are you keeping the lamp, Will? I think we could use that.
Cured leather. What am I going to do with cured leather anyway? Um, all right, so there's some good burnable stuff I should come back in here and gather up later. I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do, there's going to be a fair bit of me wandering around and gathering up stuff. Um, I'll probably do some of that off camera so that I can focus on doing it and not have to worry about trying to run my mouth and it's going to be really boring anyway. Ruined venison raw. Cook to eat safely. I can cook it to eat it safely even though it's ruined. Maybe we should give that a shot. Better take this food. Oh, I wonder, can I, uh, <laughs> can I be an asshole about it and give the spoiled food to Grey Mother? We'll have to see if it increments the uh, calorie counter if I give her the ruined venison. Water purification tablets? I don't, I don't recall using those, but could be handy. Oh. Break down the toaster. No, I wanna, I wanna do a heckin' toast, but I guess there's no power. So. I think I can use this. Decent wool socks and orange soda. Two things that people keep together. Alrighty. Well, this is a sad little house, isn't it? Can I get into this one? It doesn't look very get inable. I cannot. Okay. Where are the wolves? I keep hearing them. All right, we're gonna we're gonna raid the post office, and then I think it's gonna be time to, to head back to Mama's house and drop off some stuff. What do we got here? Medicinal plants. Okay. This stuff will come in handy. There we go. So that added some more stuff to our survival quest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can make rosehip tea. That ought to be pretty manageable. Margaret, we have to stop accepting mail at Milton. We have no way of getting it back to the mainland, but we can't tell people that, or they'll know we've been holding on to it all this time. Find some excuse. Whatever you can, encourage people to use email or drone if they can afford it. I'll keep my eyes open for the mail van, but I don't hold out high hopes. I imagine Jack probably drove it into a tree again, somewhere way in the back 40. We're likely to never find it back. Damn, I should have stopped him from taking the truck while he was on the drink. I'll see what I can do to, fi to fix the situation. Hold tight. Man, things around here were quite bad. They lost the mail truck. <laughs> Not much to the post office, huh? The back is all boarded up. Can I go around and get in there? Doesn't look very get inable, does it? Can I jump? I don't think I can jump. Okay. So I guess maybe. Can I get out that way? Nice. So I can pass through the vehicle. Um, and it'll be nice to have a place to possibly hide. Requires pry bar. From the wolves is when I don't have Mama's house to run back to, so that's good. All right, let's go offload some stuff. I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, 
I might just be hearing the wind rattling things around. Alright, so firewood bin 0 out of 12. I really don't have that much firewood stuff that I want to get rid of right now, so let's not do that. Go ahead and put the bad venison in the refrigerator here. Off you go. Um, those are your sardines anyway, but so I'm going to hang on to them for now. Alright, so that's a kilogram of venison. 900 calories added. Nice. Um, and I am carrying 20 kilograms of stuff. I got 40 pounds in my backpack. 44 pounds, even. How much better is that? It's in better condition, but it is not more better. How about socks? Oh, let's see. Ragged sport socks. Yeah, those are crap. Uh, decent wool socks. Yes, please. Ragged wool socks. For other ragged wool socks. Okay, so let's repair these. Yeah. While the sun creeps inevitably through the sky. Okay, so that's two repairs that we've done. Um, let's see. That sweater is in rough shape. That's in the worst shape I've got, I think. So let's go ahead and repair that, too. Never been so hungry in my life. You were that hungry yesterday. Okay, so that's nice. So this granola bar is not in great shape, so we'll start with that. And wow, that didn't fill up very much at all, did it? Can I warm up my canned peaches? I can, look at that. Do you think they'll be better for me if I warm them up? I don't super like canned peaches to begin with. I really don't know if warming them up by the fire is going to improve them at all. There are books there. I could totally pick those up. I need to find food. There's food in the fireplace. Give it 15 minutes, buddy. You can hold on 15 minutes, right? Mm. Man, the cupboard really is bare. Requires Lily's trunk key. Oh, so Lily isn't the rifle after all. Are my peaches nice and piping hot? Four more minutes. I can break down the table. But if I do that right now, then my peaches will overcook. Give me them peaches. Eat it. Harvested recycled can. Benefit warming up. Okay, so eating warm food, probably a good idea. So let's head down this way. Hopefully we can find some better clothes. That's what we really need right now. We need better food. We need better clothes. Better food is... I mean, we're doing all right on food. Uh, we do need a lot more of it so that we can give some to our benefactor. Um, but yeah, better clothes so that we can endure the cold a little more will be our very first priority. What is this? That Simple tools. Easy. Basic crafting and repair. Yeah. Okay. Can't do anything about the shelf. Okay. Okay. 
It's weird that the lights appear to be on in that uh, interstitial that we're seeing. Can't search the trash can? Why not? Um, I really need to remember that there's stuff in crates. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to ignore them. But that's all the time we have for episode three. So come back and see me again in episode four for more looting. Talk to you soon.